decorate these five cakes in five minutes or less. Tray bakes are a great option for quick but eye-catching cakes. Bake your cake in a casserole dish or a pie dish and skip the assembly step by decorating it right there in the dish. Use a few different piping tips and a variety of colours of frosting to create different textures and you can even make shapes for designs like this heart. I'm using my 4-minute buttercream, but you can do this with ganache, whipped cream or meringue buttercream too. And this is my very vanilla cake recipe, but you can even do this with brownies or chocolate chip cookie dough. Tray bakes are easy to make and decorate and easy to transport and serve. Fresh flowers will turn even a very simple cake, like this semi-naked cake, into a stunning beauty. You'll need some straws and some flowers that you've washed and dried and cut them so that the stems are about two inches long, just long enough to secure the flowers in the cake. Pull off any leaves from the stems and then pinch together little bouquets of flowers, combining different flowers or adding greenery to make arrangements that you'll use to decorate your cake. The stems will need to fit into a straw, which is why you pull off all the leaves, to make the stems as narrow as possible so you can fit in as many as possible. Wrap the stems in plastic wrap to catch any liquid that comes out of the stems so that that doesn't get into your cake, and then push the wrapped stems into a straw. Cut the straw just below where the stems end and make as many of these as you like. Then push each one into the cake, using your fingers first, but then pushing them in that last little bit using scissor blades, which will let you go much deeper into the cake without poking it with your fingers and damaging the frosting. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button for a new cake decorating tutorial every week. This next technique is perfect if the frosting on your cake isn't perfectly smooth. I like to chill the cake to set the frosting and then brush it with a bit of water to make it sticky. Then pour some sprinkles into a bowl. These are nonpareils, or hundreds and thousands, and they work best because you won't bite into big crunchy chunks of sprinkles. Press the sprinkles into the frosting and since it's cold and firm, as you push against it you won't cause indents or bulges, and also the sprinkles won't sink into the frosting so you won't bury them. By placing the cake on a baking sheet or tray before doing this, you'll catch any falling sprinkles so they won't bounce away and make a mess all over the kitchen. Sprinkled cakes are quick and easy to decorate and they're colourful and fun. Use a spoon to give a cake gorgeous texture and this is another technique that doesn't require perfectly smooth frosting. Cover the cake with buttercream or whatever frosting you're using and scrape around the cake a few times with a cake comb but don't worry about little imperfections or getting the top edge perfectly straight. Press the back of a spoon lightly into the frosting and pull it in a curve to make little arcs, going in different directions and overlapping to create this rustic effect. Dipping your spoon into hot water every minute or so will give you the neatest results because the hot metal will smooth the frosting as you pull it, preventing tiny air bubbles in the frosting, or if they're already there, the hot spoon will make them disappear. This technique works on the sides of the cake and also on the top. Create any design or pattern by making a homemade stencil with parchment paper. Draw or trace your shape and cut it out, leaving the paper around the shape intact to create a stencil. Parchment paper is thin and flexible so it's easy to cut into any design. Place the stencil on a chilled cake and spread frosting over it, and since the cake is cold, the stencil won't damage the frosting. Scrape until you have a thin, smooth layer of frosting over the stencil, and then peel it off, leaving your design on the cake. For extra decoration, press sprinkles into the design, and since it's soft and sticky, the sprinkles will attach easily. You can use a small paintbrush or a toothpick to nudge any sprinkles onto the shape if they roll off. I'm adding a quick border, but even with just the stencil design, the cake looks pretty and fancy. Which of these super fast cake decorations is your favourite? Tell me in the comments. Visit my cake school on BritishGirlBakes.com to learn hundreds of cake decorating techniques and designs. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.